now she needs me. Yeah, what's big? Whoa! Hey there, friend. What's going on, my dude? the shop that we beat. Man, get out of the car! Oh, shit! All right, oh. let's go! Let's go! Drive, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Go, 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 go! I'm on top of it. They're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at. Love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this lover's on the run? Where are you going? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending habits got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey, that's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figures. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know, the net figure. I've seen the net. It's a fucking disgrace. Hey, I'm bringing it around. Sure you are. Just please give me some warning before they repossess. It ain't that bad. Couple of weeks. A day, even. I don't want to be there. Honey, we're fine. Sure. Are we going home? Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and... Yeah. Thank you. Tony Prince, I'll cut straight to the chase. I heard you were a savvy investor, shall we say? Yes, I like that, a savvy investor. 
I'm not such a savvy investor. I was gonna open up a chain of venues, only that's all gone to shit. <laughs> Again. But head over to foreclosures.mazebank.com and buy one out of foreclosure. I can open you the best nightclub in the whole state, any of them, seriously. And so you don't think I don't understand, where there's nightclubs, there's cash. And when there's cash, there's money that can be washed. Anyway, think about it, for the love of all that is fine in this world. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. Shh, shh, shh. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. We're going to Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of... Shit! And washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white, middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. 
Uh, shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vents check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building, see where the ventilation comes out. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Uh. Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's the shot. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remote. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window someone talented hacks it. Anything else? 
Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LS. PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? Come on, Michael, today, please. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age, okay? Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Well, what do you think? Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Uh, yes. Huh? Good. 
Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Sound messed up. Nah, I kicked the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Can you cover one more job, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. God damn it. Okay, last time. Take that. Ten four. Copy that. Clear out the uh... Drop me off at a repair shop, and one that's not gonna charge me a small fortune.
seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just the little man. I know that. I'm just saying, there has to be accountability. Not at the droids level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know they don't. I get daily stats. You know, I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. I'm just saying, maybe they need a new system. Or maybe you need a new car. Like I say, I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver, not the mule. Enough. All right, you need to shut the hell up, homie. Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. This is meant to be a live event, people. We need lights. Where's the light man? Brian, give me a fucking spotlight. All right, let's run through this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Fame or Shame Live with your host, Laszlo. And he does that, and then, shit, ow. And then I run on, and everybody claps. And then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, OK? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Not, not, but Tony. Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best, playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. <laughs> Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not, Sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party. And we need them wasted, and we need them dancing. Not taking selfies with some fuckwits. I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ. Tony, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. 
I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right, all right. And Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He's a, a DJ, the booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am gonna fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room, lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying. Whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here, your whole entourage, whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs, Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Paradise. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> That's my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. That's where you been, Tone. Long time, no power. Yeah, how's a kite, Dave, and cursing fate. And you? Oh, oh, never better, old son, never better. <laughs> One love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha! A proper underground dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh, Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you gotta get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert? Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. 